This probably happened to you at least at some point in your life. That check engine light comes on and you think, well, my car is still running okay. Do I really need to have it check and take, checked and taken my car? For the answer to that question, we have our own car guy here, Brian Bowersock of Escondido Auto. Thank you so much for being no here. Problem. Good morning. Good morning. Now, this has happened to so many of us, at least, at least several times it has happened to me anyway. Do we take it in right away to the dealership or do you kind of wait to see if it does go off? It's not always necessary to take it in right away. Um, obviously, as soon as you can get it in because you don't know what's causing it. It can be anything minor to major causing the problem. Um, the check engine lights hook to several in new cars. Um, you know, several sensors, I mean, up to 40, 50 sensors on the vehicle can actually oh, wow. send data to the computer, which if there's a problem, turns on the check engine light. So give us some idea of what tools you use whenever someone brings it in. You've got some tools here that you actually check out these, the car with. These are actually uh, computers that hook to the car. And uh, actually what we do with these is they connect to the car and they talk to the computer that's in the car. And from that, they uh, retrieve diagnostic codes. Um, which you've probably seen, there, there are places you can buy these little code reader things. Unfortunately, a diagnostic code for somebody that doesn't know, you get a code PO178. Do you know what a code PO178 no, is? No, that eludes me. I have no <laughs> idea what that means. Most people don't. And uh, this tool actually goes through and, and can test each sensor. It can turn things on and off in the car, um, check data, voltages, things like that. So we can actually properly diagnose the car and determine what's wrong. So no, I know a lot of times people say, or different shops will say, hey, bring it on in. We diagnose what's going on with your car for free. Does that mean necessarily that they're going to Often fix? What, uh, what people like to do right now is they'll say, we'll, we'll scan your car for free. And what they'll do is they'll hook the, the uh, diagnostic tool up to the car. They get the code and they say, well, you have a PO178. That's an O2 sensor code. At that point then, uh, usually they start charging. So it's not always, the problem with the code is it, it tells about a sensor that's picked something up wrong, mm -hmm. but just because, let's say an O2 sensor on a car has a code, just because the O2 sensor has a code doesn't mean that sensor's bad. It's picked up something that's not right and told the computer, and the computer has set a code for it so that you know that this sensor picked up a problem and you have a area, general area to start looking in. All right, well, let's get right to the benefits of taking your car in and checking out nonetheless. Up Absolutely. on our screen there, some of the benefits that people get. Well, let's see, you can uh, save fuel mileage. Um, you'll never know if there's a bigger problem later, if this is a small problem. Check engine light, once it comes on and stays on, it doesn't tell you when another code's set on the vehicle. Um, service and repair facilities scan your computer for codes and uh, then they diagnose them and you can stay on top of what's what's uh, going on with your vehicle that way. Because just from past experience, I know that if you don't take it in and there is something wrong, it can actually cost you more money in the long run if you don't take your car in right away. It can. Actually, if you have a sensor that fails and you're having a fuel control problem or something like that, you can damage things down the line. Catalytic converter and exhaust can get damaged. And with newer cars, you're talking in thousands of dollars to replace the catalytic converter. So if you don't address a simple problem, yes, it can turn into a lot larger problem that costs you a lot more money, absolutely. All right, Brian, all good information. Thanks so much for being here no with problem. us again this weekend. It. If you'd like more information, just log on to our website at fox6.com.